There has been a war on artistic freedom, whether it's in video games or entertainment in general, and now, unfortunately, we are seeing payment processors' war on artistic freedom is only getting worse. I have a few things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, follow me on social media, and consider supporting through Patreon or through YouTube memberships. Now, of course, over the years, we have seen plenty of artists be afraid to create what they want because of platforms. They do not want to get banned, they do not want to get suspended, and ultimately, they have toned down a lot of their work because of certain platforms whether it is game developers and Steam or with PlayStation or now on other sites, art focused sites like Pixiv, because this is a post from Rev Says Desu, Payment Processor's War on Artistic Freedom is here. This week, Pixiv Fanbox announced that PayPal will no longer support 18 plus art. Gumroad banned suggestive art entirely at the demand of PayPal and Stripe. And Patreon now requires drawings to provide affirmative consent. Now, starting with Pixiv, um, because of course that is, I feel, the most important important on this list. Yes, we are hearing that Pixiv uh, Fanbox, which, which is their subscription service, announced PayPal will no longer support 18 plus art. This was in a big new post that they made right on their website front and center. Due to various circumstances, PayPal payments will no longer be available to support creators posting our 18 content on Pixiv Fanbox. This change will affect the following users and the affected users or those who have never used PayPal for transactions. So it sounds like at this time, if you had previously used PayPal, you will still be able to, but a lot of people are speculating that this is going to be phased out because PayPal payments will no longer be available uh, in total to support creators posting R18 content. And of course they apologize, but an apology doesn't really matter when you're saying that as a individual, I can no longer support a creator I want, and in turn, a creator is getting completely screwed over. And of course, as the initial post pointed out, this is not just one platform, whether it's Pixiv or one payment processor like PayPal. I mean, this is a massive NSFW crackdown, and it is the continued Western prejudice against Japanese anime art styles. And as the initial post pointed out, it's not just Pixiv or PayPal. We also know that Gumroad just banned suggestive art entirely at the demand of PayPal and Stripe, and Patreon now requires drawings to approve affirmative consent. This is the post from Gumroad. Um, it says that it's an e-commerce company for creators, uh, updated its rules to more strictly limit NSFW content, citing restrictions from payment processors like Stripe and PayPal. So it seems like all of these platforms all at once have had to uh, crack down on NSFW art. And especially when that comes to anime art styles, Westerners incorrectly label characters that use anime art styles as underage all the time because they're prejudiced to that style, even though most of the time the characters they're referring to aren't underage. And now we have all of this bullshit with these processors that are based in the United States. They're literally guilty of this prejudice, which is making them move to censor and sanitize what art they allow to be paid for through their networks. They shouldn't have that power at all whatsoever, but unfortunately they do and they are proving that. And now these platforms, in some cases, are just straight up banning 18 plus art, which means the situation has turned even more ridiculous than it already was. Payment processors should not have the control over what people are buying and selling. If someone's breaking the law, then they need to be reported to law enforcement and law enforcement handles it. But that's not on Patreon or PayPal or Pixiv. They should shouldn't be the ones enacting that policy. 18 plus content, which is sexually explicit content featuring adults, is illegal and should not be banned under any circumstance. And sure, I get that these platforms like Patreon move to using an age verification system for their creators. They have to verify the, their age and the, uh, you know, customers still have to click a form saying they're 18 plus, but you're banning adult content meant for adults. 
And of course, Patreon is part of this list. They now require drawings to provide affirmative consent, and their new list of rules do definitely target real human beings. But at the same time, they do technically also cover drawings, which of course is absurd. But we've seen problems with Patreon for years at this point. This was from back in 2022. Patreon expunging content of characters below certain height and breast size, which of course wraps back around to Westerners being prejudiced against Japanese art styles, which of course is terrible. And of, when we look at something like, um, you know, payment processors having the ability to force these sites into expunging their websites, that isn't okay. There should not be a company that has the power where they can ban the ability of someone to be paid for art that's legal and being sold to the correct group of people, which is simply over the age of 18. These payment processors should not have this power, and I will say it a hundred times if I have to. Again, if someone is breaking the law, it's up to law enforcement to handle it because otherwise it's literally censorship. They are sanitizing and censoring their platforms because of payment processors threatening to pull their services. And those processors are really the ones creating the sanitization and censorship because I don't think Pixiv would have changed. I don't think Gumroad would have changed. I mean, obviously, we'll never know for sure if they would have, but they hadn't up until now when they're being threatened. And of course, this even goes beyond artwork. Patreon and PayPal being allowed to censor anything is bad. Look at all of the people that have been banned from those networks over political opinions. Unfortunately, we see people um, banned from platforms all of the time because of politics, and that shouldn't be. I mean, what's next? Seriously, MasterCard and PayPal won't allow you to buy R-rated movies or M-rated video games anymore? Seriously, who knows what the next step will be? Because both of those, although not pornography, can and do include strongly explicit sexual material. And of course, the worry now is that Twitter could be banning adult content soon because Stripe is the main payment processor for the app. Now, I do think that when it comes to Twitter slash X, it's such a gigantic gigantic platform, they could probably work something out. But at the same time, we just don't know if that is going to happen. Yes, there has been a lot of positive changes on the platform since Elon Musk purchased it and put a lot of new people in charge of it, but it's still not a perfect platform. People still do get permanently banned. There are a lot of accounts that are still not unbanned, and we don't know if that is ever going to change. And unfortunately, if I was an artist right now, I would be extremely worried that something like Twitter slash X could be next. And these payment processors war on artistic freedom is only getting worse. It is so unfortunate. So if you have a favorite artist, make sure you follow them on every form of social media you can. Make sure that you're checking out their website, you're subscribing to them and supporting them in any way, shape, or form that you possibly can. Because unfortunately, they are running into situations where their art is not becoming um, easily accessible anymore. Their art is being banned and ultimately, they are not allowed to bring in funds, which in a lot of cases for these creators, that is their livelihood. Their livelihoods are being crushed. So make sure you go and you support your favorite artists in any way, shape, or form that you can. Make sure that you're following them every single place that you can and keep up with them because you don't want them to drop off the map one day and then in a couple months you wonder what happened to them. And it's because, unfortunately, their art was seen as a little bit too suggestive for these platforms or they no longer could bring in funds so they had to basically dip from the internet. I mean, the payment processors were on artistic freedom is definitely getting worse and I will be keeping my eye on this, but this is a very, very bad situation that we are facing. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and, of course, found it important and informative, make sure to give it a like, share it, subscribe to the channel, and, of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.